here. So we call this a side. Okay? Um, this is a side pick and roll. We run you to the corner. Okay? If, now you would space a little bit more. If we have this kind of spacing, we call this a spread pick and roll with, um, with the guard in the corner, strong side corner. Okay? <coughs> Come on right here to the middle of the floor. And if we have a ball screen coming to the outside, and it can be with a corner occupied or unoccupied, we call that an alley. An alley, like you're going to drive on the alley. Okay? And those are the three kinds of screens. And we get, uh, in terms of on-ball screens, and we get to multiple uh, screens in a possession. Okay? So let's go back to the side, and you can run, and the side spacing. So, let's just get you down there. The first thing what we talk about for the screener, we want the screener to arrive unattached. Okay? So we want him to sprint into every ball screen and arrive unattached. All right? And that's the first thing. Um, and so you're going to come on the ball screen. We want the guard to set his man up. All right, so a little jab step to the baseline, okay, without the dribble, I mean, okay, setting him up, all right, and have, so that you can get separation, okay? For the guard, and this would be on any kind of ball screen, we want him to think, refuse the ball screen often. So one of the biggest problems is when guys don't refuse the ball screen. All right, and we really try to get him to do that 30% of the time. Okay? The guard comes off the ball, and we talk about a live dribble. So in other words, if I pass you the ball and you don't dribble, okay, you're, you're, let's say you're down there and you're going to run out to the ball screen. So if I passed it and you're coming, he's got a live dribble, which means he hasn't dribbled, he can set his man up. Okay? And then sometimes you might dribble down, and then we call this an active dribble. So we just, we work on the guard coming off with a live dribble or an active dribble, and that's just our terminology. But let's say you got a live dribble, so you haven't dribbled it yet, okay? And he's coming. Now, let's come on up here. The first thing that we talk about, uh, refuse as many ball screens as you can, okay? The second thing is we want him coming off the ball screen thinking score. Okay? The goal of this is to create advantage situations. Okay? Advantage situations occur, one, when we're in transition. We got numbers. Defense is scrambling. Advantage situations occur if we throw it in the post, assuming that guy can score a little bit. So somebody has to double or stunt or swarm or front or whatever. Advantage situations come when two people have to play one. So the biggest thing is that you got these guards who are selfish and always trying to shoot, and then they come off a ball screen and they're looking to pass. You gotta think score to force help, and then you pass. 